northern Kentucky woman is facing a major recovery right now. She fell off a cliff at Red River Gorge. It was part of a celebration that quickly turned into a very dangerous situation. WLWT News 5's Eric Zarnitz talked with the woman from her hospital bed and has more tonight live from our newsroom. Hi, Eric. Hi, Cherie. Saturday, 10 friends were out having fun, but the good time turned serious when the sun went down and they tried to find their way back to their cars with nothing but the light of their cell phones. What started as a birthday adventure for Tiffany Featherstone from Northern Kentucky ended in a near deadly fall. I remember they they took uh, everybody gave up their sweatshirts and they kind of tied them around my waist and my shoulders and my legs and then they put me on a stretcher. Tiffany and two friends fell from this 50 foot cliff. She lay with half her body in the Red River. In and out of consciousness, suffering from hypothermia. I just told them that my my back was hurting really, really bad, and I just told them that I just I wanted to go home. I wanted to see my kids. I honest, I thought I was gonna die, and I just told them not to let me die down there. All three survived. Tiffany is still hospitalized, able to talk to um, me from her hospital bed via FaceTime. She has a broken uh, forearm, forearm, elbow, shoulder, pelvis, elbow, crack tip, and, and four breaks in her back. But with the help of doctors and her three-year-old son, she's on the road to recovery. I always look at him, and I tell him it's going to be okay. And for him to come to me and tell me that it's going to be okay, I just know that, like, as long as I just fight to get better, and just do everything that I'm supposed to do, well, then I know that it will be okay. What would you like to say to the rescuers? Thank you. Because, sorry. If it wasn't for them, I don't think I would be here right now. We spoke with Tiffany's friends and coworkers at the Covington Vape Shop. They wish her a speedy recovery and even started a GoFundMe site to help pay for her bills. If you'd like to help, we'll have a link on this story on our website, WLWT.com. All right, Eric, live from our newsroom. Eric, thank you. So glad she is okay. By the way, Tiffany admitting to us today they did have a few drinks, but she says no one was drunk at the time.